Hi everybody, it's Gene, Mr. Gino502, and I wanted to do a video here. Um, here where I live, they have a um, music collector's convention every three months and it's a, at a hotel where they sell a bunch of records. And I go maybe once, twice a year, um, but I went back on June 26th, yeah, June 26th, um, it's, um, I think they're based out of Indianapolis, but it's Alpha Records. They sponsor it, and you have to have one of these cards to get in. Or, if you don't have a card, but it's $4 without the card, $3 with the card. So, But I found something very interesting. I think I found a reel introducing the Beatles. I think. Hopefully somebody can help me with this, but... From what I've done on research, I think this is a real one. I found it there at the record show, and it was $8. So, even if this one's fake, too, that's not a bad price. This is a pretty good copy. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's got the, it comes apart at the bottom. It's got some stains up there on the corner, but, um, yeah, it's got Ask Me Why I'm Please Please Me. The other one, I, the fake one, has got Love Me Do on it. And it's got, you know, this water up there, but it passes the honey test. Ding, ding, ding. Um, and here's the, it was in just in this plain sleeve. But here is the record. Here is the record. And it's got the, you know, above the hole. And it's got the green. Um, I played this. It's perfect. No skips at all. It's, you know, kind of scratchy. But it's real thick, too. I mean, from compared to my other one. So, I think I just might have found a real one. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe somebody can tell me. But from everything I've checked on I think this one is the real deal so for eight dollars I think that's not too bad and uh, like I said it's kind of scratchy but it doesn't skip at all it sounds really good for you know don't really not the best sound in the world but it is doesn't have any um, skips or anything it's just kind of scratchy one thing I did notice maybe somebody can tell me this too um, you can't really see it but it's in the part here where the out part is it's got it's engraved in there the that number what is it three four oh two or something like that I can't even see it now but, um, yeah. So, I think I found me a real one, people. I think. So, yeah, like I said, $8 at the record show. I even asked the guy, I said, would you take any less? He's like, no. He's like, I gotta have $8 for it. It's like, okay. I was like, yeah. So, looks like a real one. It's got the album number down here, 109. Was it 10 whatever it is 1062 LP and you can really see George's shadow there. So like I said, it's not like A plus condition. Like this down here is coming apart, but got the stain on it. But uh, so maybe somebody can help me out. Let me know if I really did find a, a real one this time. Uh, this is all that came with it. Somebody wrote on there introducing the Beatles. And it's got Bob, somebody or another. I can't read it. Bob Mont, M O N T E S, Montes. So I guess that's whoever owned this before. But um, yeah. So I went back and looked, and they were talking about it and this and that. They said it's got to have the green eyes, like, and I thought I don't think my, I don't think it does. I think it's another fake. I got it out, and it's like, yeah, here's the green right here. So, let me know, 
people, if you know, this uh, just might be the real deal. So, and for eight dollars, you can't. Even if it is another fake, eight dollars sounds good. That's okay with me. So, okay, picking up the trash outside. Of course. Um, found a couple other records. Just want to mention. This is interesting. It's a 45. It's on the collectibles label, but it's a. It's got El it's Elton John. It's got Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds on the A, on a side, and then it's got um, Empty Garden on the other side, which I found was kind of interesting. You know, con you know, it's a con connection to John Lennon, of course, because of Lucy in the Sky. He played on that, whatever. My favorite version of it, even I like it better than the Beatles version of Lucy in the Sky, but. Um, What's interesting, you know, this came out in '75, and then of course the Empty Garden, which is a you know tribute to John, came out in 1982. And if I remember right, in the United States anyway, Elton John was on uh, MCA Records in '75, and then he was on Geffen in '82. So I thought that's kind of interesting that you know they could combine a single like this from. It's a it's just an interesting pairing of these two songs and it was a dollar so it's interesting too they have these collectibles you know you can I'm gonna send off for one of these you know this thing here it holds six VH or holds eight or six VHS or beta videotapes only 950 so I'll get my VHS or, or my beta I have some beta tapes matter of fact and uh, this one here holds 50 RPM, 45 RPM records. You know, the only way to store your valuable records or your video collection. 950. So, but I just thought I got this. It was interesting, you know, the pairing of the of the tracks, you know, and two of my favorite Elton John songs, anyway. So, and then I got a for a quarter, I got a. Gordon Lightfoot 45. I've never seen it on this label. Back to back hits. Got the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald and Race Among the Ruins on the other side. So, so it cost me three dollars to get in and then I bought that. Let's see, it's nine twenty-five. Three twenty five. Um three twenty five. So I spelt I spent twelve twenty five altogether. <laughs> Over there, but this is the this is what I was really happy to get. I usually a lot of times I go to those shops, I don't buy anything. But uh, when I seen this, eight dollars, I thought eh, I'll give it a shot. And I looked at it and over there, and it's like I think the first thing I checked was above the hole, and it's like ah, I think this is real. That's cool anyway, because like I said, um, this one has please please me on it. My other one, my real f I know it's fake has love me do so but yeah after leave me a comment um, let me know is this real I think it is so I, I got a real one for eight dollars oh yeah and it sounds good I mean for what it is and so I guess that's it for now. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, which I'm very happy about, is that I was able to get my channel name back, Mr. Gino502. Um, YouTube and Google Plus are not such asses anymore to where you have to have a first name, you got to have a last name. You know, so I had to change to connect, I had to change to Beatles Forever, so I'd have a first and last name. But now, um, you don't have to. So, I just put Mr. Gino 502 as a first name and nothing as a last name, and I got my channel name back. So, for once, YouTube and Google are doing something nice for us people. And um, you can also, a couple of my channels, I got rid of Google Plus. You can get rid of Google Plus now without any problem. Um, 
I'm still keeping three of them. But I had five, so I deleted um, two of them. So in case you don't know, you can get rid of Google+. Plus, and it's just like the old days, you know, you can still comment on things, and on videos, on uh, channels, all that stuff. So, but what I did was, I went to, I was going to do that with Sasha's channel. Um, I wanted to put her name as a nickname, you know, the Fussy Feline, and then I wanted to put Sasha as her nickname. So when I went to there, hers is set up like that. They've changed it, you know. So on her channel, it's just got the Fussy Feline as her first name. And then nothing as her second name, as their last name. So I thought, huh, you know. So, if, you know, they've changed that to where that don't need a last name. I'm going to go to my channel and uh, see what I can do. So I went to Beatles Forever, and I went to change the name and, you know, I went down there and put Mr. Gino 502 and nothing for the last name. And there you go. I got it. So thank you, Google and YouTube and whoever, for that. And uh, But, evident, you know, on her channel, I have used her name as her nickname. So, you know, it's like the Fussy Feline and then Sasha, you know. So, but I just want to let you know if you want to just anybody out there you don't have to have a first and a last name anymore you can just whatever you want put it as your first name and you're good to go and if you want to get get rid of Google Plus it's not going to affect anything um, of course it'll get rid of what if you put anything on Google Plus it'll get rid of all that it deletes Google Plus but it's like the good old days where you could comment and all that without them forcing you into joining Google Plus so I guess they finally got wise after a couple of years that they're not going to compete with Facebook, you know, which I'm sh that's what they were trying to do. So, yeah. So anybody out there, if you want to change your name, go right ahead and all you need is a first name and get rid of Google Plus if you want to. That's what I did on two of my channels. I still got my, my three that I use the most, or especially the two, you know. But Google Plus is just Google Plus. It's like you can have it or not have it. it. It's not required anymore. So I like it in a way because you can share things on there that you can't share on YouTube and um, different things. But you know you don't have to have it anymore like you used to, and you don't have to have a last first name and a last name. So but anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know about this. Is it real? I hope it is. I hope it is. I think that it is. So, let me know. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. And I read all the comments. I, never, I don't answer comments usually because I don't know what to say. But I appreciate every comment and I read everyone. So, um, if you leave one, make sure you know you know that I read it. So if I don't answer it, then that don't mean I didn't read it. I just answering comments. I don't know what to say, and I don't want to answer everybody the same. You know, and say, oh, you know, just have a um, generic thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, just I don't want to reply the same comment to everybody when I reply. <laughs> you know, so I, I just can't think of what to reply, so I don't. But I do read them, I just don't reply. And I don't want to, you know, give you a generic, like a form letter. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. You know no matter what it says or who it is, you know, thank you, who, you know, I'm not going to do that. So, But leave me a comment, I will read them, I read them all, and I appreciate them all. And I appreciate the 700 and whatever subscribers I have. So, and it's been... Oh, seven years now on YouTube almost. In August, I guess it'll be, yeah, seven years. So, anyway, thanks to everybody that watches this. Leave me a comment. Let me know if this is real or fake. And I appreciate all your support and everybody that subscribes and all that good stuff. It means a lot to me. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.